Hi and welcome back to another quick tip tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to try to explain to you how you can use 3ds Max to re-topologize um, your uh, mesh that you created for example in uh, ZBrush or some other sculpting uh, software. So here I have uh, some mesh that I created uh, fairly quickly and then just uh, exported with Cozy and here I have it in uh, 3ds Max. So I'm trying to uh, create a low poly version of these shapes. So this is a kind of the foot armor. So let me get started. First of all you have to make sure you have editable poly uh, and not editable mesh or anything else. Then you have to be on um, modify panel and when you click on freeform these tools are going to be visible. Uh, if you are on uh, create you are not going to see them so just make sure you have your basic, basic mesh uh, selected and you are on modify panel then you just have to click here normally it's uh, selected grid and you should uh, click on draw on surface and then uh, if uh, here states pick uh, you just click on it uh, so it's turned blue and then just uh, select and the basic mesh that you want to use as your base mesh so the default value of offset is uh, zero, 00 and I will set it to 0 0.2 um, and then it's all about using these tools and these tools to create new topology so first of all I'm going to show you uh, this one make sure if you click here you have auto weld turned off and under draw we are going to uh, to click on new object this means uh, as you can see th the basic mesh is no longer selected because uh, we are creating a new uh, mesh so with the topology turned on we just draw the lines just like you do in ZBrush and when you uh, create four-sided uh, polygons it's going to create a new mesh so this is fairly easy uh, and if you want to continue this line just hold shift and continue drawing and as you can see it's fairly qu quick to create new topology if you want to delete one just hold control and click on the uh, click on the polygon that you want to uh, delete So uh, let me just redo uh, one part so you can see uh, how to end the process and if you are satisfied with your model just right click anywhere on the canvas or anywhere uh, and it's going to go out of the topology tool and it's going to make sure you have your um, newly uh, created topology ready to use. This is one way to create a uh, basic mesh. Uh, I normally use uh, stripes for the starting point rather than topology. I don't know, it's just my personal preference and I just click on stripes, go down to ho here to poly, uh, poly draw and then just type in on minimal distance uh, some value that you know it's going to work for your model. In my case uh, it, this is 40 and then just again click on a new object and then just click and drag on the canvas or on the object and as you can see it's creating uh, newly uh, uh, new quads uh, with the size that you set here so if we would uh, set for example 20 and go back and uh, draw out as you can see they are fairly uh, smaller than before so now as I have this basic mesh created, for example, I, I'm satisfied with this. So you can see it's really quicker than stripes. I would have to uh, draw out, uh, and sometimes even the look of the polygons is not really uh, uh, so uniform like here. So then I use extend. Let me go out of the vertex selection because I don't need it and if you turn on extend you can just uh, hold shift and click and drag 
an edge out. This means if it's going to uh, create a new um, edge and it's going to conform it to the basic mesh because it's still uh, selectable. And as you can see here, uh, we have this vertex a little bit off. And if we want to uh, move a separate vertex, just hold Control Shift Alt, and then just click on the vertex that you want to uh, move and just move it. The other thing, holding Shift, you can create this one, for example, and then go down, hold Shift, and uh, create this one. And you want to uh, bridge this one, these two, just hold Control Alt and click and drag between them. It's going to create a new polygon. And if you want to delete it, just hold Control and click on the polygon that you want to delete it. If you want to uh, uh, extrude the loop, just hold Control and Shift and click and drag. And as you can see, it's fairly quick uh, to create uh, newly uh, new polygons. And as you can see, it conforms to the shape below. So it's uh, really a, a really nice tool, this uh, extend uh, tool, and I really uh, like using it a lot. As you can see, I'm just dragging it out, and the outer part is conforming to the basic shape. Sometimes uh, an issue can uh, come up, as you can see here, if I draw this down, and it's going to... Um, it's going to squish the newly created polygons be below the below the below the basic uh, shape because it still conforms to it and it's no uh, basic shape here and it's just going to mess up a little bit. But you can uh, always go back to a polygon and go out of the extent mode and just delete the polygons that you don't like. And you can also always go back to extend and move uh, separate uh, polygons by holding uh, by, uh, by vertex by holding Control Shift and Alt, and then just uh, really quickly um, create a shape that you like. And let's just say we are happy with, with what we have here, and we are going to just oops we're going to just uh, move these vertices a little bit around so I'm going to show you another quick uh, neat tool uh, that you can use so now I'm going to go out of the extent and as you can see we have uh, a fairly uh, uniform look of these polygons but uh, let me just show you how you can make them even more uh, uniform so go to graphite modeling tool and click on one uh, edge and hold shift and click on another one to make a loop of the selection and then press alt r on the keyboard to make the uh, ring selection of these uh, edges then go to loop loops and click on loop tools and it's going to open this uh, this tool uh, and then just uh, click on space and as you can see it's spaced out in uh, fairly uh, more uniform than it, it was before. And then you can do it the same for the other way and genders. And as you can see, it really quickly conformed these uh, polygons to the basic shape, and it's really what we are looking for. So you can always just select these vertices, for example, and align them on X value and maybe these vertices and under Z value and let's redo uh, this spacing and as you can see it's really quickly uh, creating some really um, smooth looking uh, uh, new model uh, and I really love these tools uh, freeform and uh, loop tools so back to freeform you can also check out some other uh, options creating new uh, new new uh, topology uh, this one is uh, really interesting it kind of creates a low poly look of uh, branches for I don't know trees or something like this 
and as you can see it's really uh, it's really working as a brush in ZBrush software where you just pull out uh, some polygons but here you have really low poly version of uh, low poly version of a newly created polygons so uh, you may consider uh, using this uh, tool so uh, next thing I would like to show you how you can use uh, shift and other tools to uh, distort this um, newly created polygon so uh, you could go to um, vertex selection and then select a vertex and move it around just like you normally do uh, in 3ds max but you can also use this uh, shift uh, tool and as you can see we have a black circle and a white circle it's really uh, the same as in ZBrush the white circle uh, represents the sharp selection and the black circle uh, represents the diffuse selec selection and anything outside of these two circles it's not going to be moved so if you want to uh, change the size of these circles you just hold control and click and the left left mouse button and move it around and you can see the fall off is being resized and if you want to uh, resize the white circle just hold shift and click and drag and if you want to uh, uh, re reduce the strength of this uh, shift uh, tool just hold shift alt and just uh, right click uh, left click on it with the mouse and move it around as you can see the value of the strength is uh, is changing so the next thing is just you can just move it around just like with the move tool in ZBrush but uh, as I will show you here it has one advantage if you uh, you uh, let me just isolate this one if you just uh, move something like this and because these vertices are all in line uh, you can move all of them at once as you can see and if you uh, want to move a separate one just move a separate one so it's uh, fairly uh, easy to make some easy deformations on the low poly version of your model using this shift uh, tool and also this is the shift rotate tool which means it's going to rotate uh, according to the according to the so you should uh, maybe have uh, a little bit more polygon uh, a little bit more uh, vertices uh, to uh, move it around so as you can see just click and drag and it will rotate it and the same thing about here it's just push them in or push them out together and and it's a really uh, neat uh, these are really neat tools um, which are being not used very often or not to be uh, used in my knowledge and as you can see if you resize it the vertices are staying uh, attached to the shape of the edge which is also really nice so let me just undo this stuff and let me just show you uh, we have push and pull this is uh, kind of uh, the same as uh, inflate brush in the ZBrush so for example if I would uh, make a shell and make sure you are always uh, working on editable poly or these tools are not going to be visible 
so now I, uh, when I use push and pull uh, let me just resize the um, resize the brush so you can always hover over a brush and you will have a quick uh, tips on um, on what are the shortcuts uh, on the keyboard to uh, do as something different change the brush size trend and other settings in the paint option panel yeah size you can set the size here let me just say uh, set it to something different 20 and set the strength and the offset and let me just show you what I mean as you can see if the if the tool is really large it works as an inflate in ZBrush so uh, you can always uh, deflate it by pressing ALT on the keyboard and deflating it back in and you can always hold SHIFT and it will smooth it out just as the smooth brush in ZBrush does and it's a really nice look nice uh, tool uh, to know how to use it's really uh, making life easier so uh, just play around with these uh, other tools they are fairly self-explanatory but as you can see we really created quickly created some really nice looking uh, new topology uh, on a base mesh so with the same uh, tools I created this uh, really nice looking uh, new topology, new tool uh, representing this that I show you in the beginning so you can see it's really uh, easy to create uh, new topology in 3ds Max, you don't really need uh, to use ZRemesh or 3D Code or any other software and as you saw you still have a fairly good amount of uh, control over vertices and polygon distribution and everything and so it's really nice to uh, this freeform uh, collection of tools in 3ds Max so this was it for this tutorial about uh, using freeform tools in ZBrush to create uh, in 3ds Max to create a new topology on your base mesh so until next time bye